Hey Dan, we're at the Florida Super RV Show. In Tampa, Florida. And we're going to take you around the show and show you a whole bunch of stuff that we found interesting. So come on along with us. And those ruby red lips and that sunny smile. <laughs> you know, it's good to be sitting down in here. And your instruction. You look at Larry'sPeeler.com. Instead of making a video like he is, you can watch my video online. Hi everybody, I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And we're at Zephyr Travels and we're at the Florida RV Show. And this has been a lot of fun. We've actually been here a couple of days before we filmed this opening. But we've been having a lot of fun. We've been walking around, meeting a lot of different people. And seeing a lot of very interesting RVs. You been having fun? Yes. Yes, we are. We have been having fun the past couple of days. Uh, we've been visiting with some of our vendor friends. And... Uh, looking at some new products, looking at the new Airstreams, talking to some of the executives from Airstream. So yeah, we've been enjoying ourselves. Yeah, and, and we keep running into other YouTubers that we know. So hang in there with us and we're gonna take you to the show if you didn't get the chance to be here, or if you were here and you didn't get the chance to see us. Leave us a comment. Yeah, or if you did see us, leave us a comment. But uh, we're gonna wander through the show and, and show you some of the stuff that we saw that we really liked and have some fun. So come on with us, guys. Zephyr Travels, this is my new poop juice. It's called Liquify. It is the best RV toilet chemical in the industry, and it's yours for free. Thank you. Thank you. Um, make sure you check it out and use it and get, reach out to me. Give me your honest feedback of it. We definitely will. Thank, Thank you, man. You. So what do you think? Did you see yourself driving us down the road? I'd be afraid I'd run over another vehicle. Yeah, you probably couldn't even see it. Really? You get a, you know, a small car. Yeah, Cody Borland, uh, here at the here at the Campers Inn at the RV show here in Tampa, uh, representing VisionWorks cameras and. Uh, yeah, check out Zephyr Travels and Randy. And great channel, great people. Thank you, Cody. Yeah, yeah we've got awesome. we've got one of your cameras on our, our, our stream. You know, we've had some issues. You've yeah. been awesome to work with. You keep coming up with ideas, and you haven't given up on me, and I oh, really appreciate no, that. No, not going to give up on you. We'll, we'll get it squared <laughs> away, and we'll, we'll stick a fork in it. There What's you go. Yeah, there we'll you go. Going. We'll get this working. Oh. Yep. Thank That's you very awesome. much. No, thank you, guys. We do custom wood signs and uh, pretty much everything's customized. Do you need it? Um, we can make it. Great, thank you. And we, we've got a uh, sign on order. We can't wait to see it. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye. This one's interesting. It's like the smallest motorhome. Whoa. Do you have any questions? What is it? It's a Wingham Oasi 540. It's an Italian RV, fresh to the market. It's only 17.9 feet long, but you oh. can still leave, sleep four inside. You can sleep four yes, inside? Wow. That's, a, well, so that's about two foot shorter than most of the ones you see here yep. on the um, Promaster. Yep. This is really neat. But it will be on a Promaster chassis. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're second year here in the Tampa show, so we're pretty excited to be here. And, and you're just bringing it into the market? Correct, correct. Straight to when, the consumer. When will it be available? So deliveries start this spring. Uh, if you put in an order today, we'll be about a year out. 
Okay. And what's the price point? Uh, it's 145 plus shipping. Okay. Good. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. No, my pleasure. My pleasure. I don't know which is different. Iced them? Look at the cute little bathroom. Look at the shower head. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Or what, what so bath? A lot of upper cabinet space. Mm -hmm. Big window. What makes this is the windows. Yeah. The retro chick hip trip. So this is a 2930RL, it's a real lounge, 34 foot, so this is a little bit shorter. So Center Island. This is like, they may have like Western Horizon. The back part is, yes. Yeah. But they have a, you know, additional room in the middle. This doesn't have. Right. Yeah, for the kids. Yep. Because you go right up to the uh, bedroom. Nice. Oops. So that's a pass through bath. So is this one, is the length shorter on this one? Uh, might be a couple foot shorter. Definitely. Now you don't have the closet for your washer and dryer. No, you're giving that up in the shorter length. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, front lounge, 41 and a half foot, center kitchen. I have a nice size, well, it looks like a nice size dinette area, but I think it's a lighter color and everything. Yeah. It makes it look bigger. Yeah. A lot of uh, levels on this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's got the race as well. So I left mine in Phoenix, which is one of one. You got a YouTube channel? Yes. What's the name of it? Zephyr Travels. Zephyr Travels. I don't know. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys at? Uh, Airstream. Airstream? Yes. That's why? Because they're the best. Oh. <laughs> they're the most expensive. <laughs> and you, you buy them and you hand them down to your kids. Really? They last forever? Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. Okay. They will. Yeah. And, and, need, and if you... They retain that, their value. They retain their value. If you bang them up, they can be easily fixed you know, put it with the right technicians because it's all riveted aluminum body. Yeah. So they can replace those panels. Yeah. I don't know why I thought it was stainless. Uh, no. Just the, the very front pieces that wrap around, like the stone cards, are stainless. The rest is all aluminum. Huh. Okay. But uh, yeah, we're like second generation Airstreamers. Our, my parents had one. Gotcha. And, yeah, people buy them and they keep them forever. Okay. Yeah. I believe it. Yep. Hand them down. Awesome. <laughs> we're, we're Solitude. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I'm not bad. My wife's not bad. But if they see this, hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Nice. Yeah. Best 
camper ever. We've got to check out this uh, Tiffin motorhome. It's a Zephyr. Seven hundred thousand. If we only could figure out a way for it to make money for us, we could buy one. Yeah. Start back here. Look at the shower. Oh, wash and dryer in there. In there. It's not out wash and dryer hookup, it's there, right? Yeah. Yeah. How about this shower? Wow, very nice. Look at this. You got the skylight, but there's actually a light in it. Good, how are you? Good. I like the name of your uh, company. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why we had to come and look at this. We got passed by one on the road the other day. It's like, a Zephyr! Yeah, it sounds like you need to get a Zephyr for your Zephyr. Zephyr travels. Yeah. It, it would fit. I would just have to add travels to the bottom. It'd be exactly. so easy. Busier than um, if on media it. day or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's a, and it's a little warmer too. Yes, yes, but it's a pretty good show, isn't it? It is. It awesome. is. It's, it is so big. Easily the biggest and best RV show we've ever been to. So, yeah. yeah. Um, it's almost like getting lost kind of. There's thing, so, so much oh, yeah. to see here. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot. You're gonna have a lot of fun. You're gonna have to pace yourselves. Absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it's actually a nice warm day today, though, huh? It is. Yeah. You know, as Vermonters, a general rule is we never complain about the weather in January when it's warm outside. So we're right. having a great time. Yep. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yep. Yeah, it's a great day. We're going to have a lot of fun, tour yep. some coaches, and yep. see these couple of streams over there. So. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, we're glad we ran into you. Okay. okay. Hi, I'm Keith with Clear 2.0. If we want to be anything that you need as your source for fresh water. So we make a full line of online systems and we also make a full line of canister based systems for your filtration. So come to us and see us. We're at clear2o.com and we can see anything and we'll be able to take care of your filtration needs. Thank you, Keith. Does that work? Hey everyone. 
everyone, it's Brian. I'm here at the Tampa Super Show, day one uh, for the Consumer Day, and um, it is already very, very busy. Um, we have our base camps on display. The new REI edition is right here. Uh, and then around the corner, we have our traditional travel trailers, including uh, the motorized side with our new range, um, range line that's here as well. Thank you. and I'm with Easy Store Hitch and my father, Terry, is actually the creator and inventor of the Easy Store Hitch. So one of the things about, I'm the inventor of the original Easy Store Hitch. And I've had the, I had the idea for quite a few years, been a lifelong camper, which is evidenced in my picture from uh, when I was one year old. Oh it was August of 62. <laughs> And if people think schoolies are a new thing, no, look, we have a convertible yeah. school bus, so <laughs> I was an old school schoolie, you know? And I've been life lifelong camper. So I'm sitting at the house one night, thinking it's like, I gotta start working on my design. And I go, How can, what do I have here to do it? I looked around, I happened to order a pizza that night, and I look at the pizza box and I go, that'll work. So I took the pizza box and started cutting it up, shipping tape, and yeah. putting it together, and sitting at the house, and believe it or not, it's actually pretty close. Yeah, it is. It's actually pretty close. And this was my very first, you know, uh -huh. thought that night about, because I'm a more visual person. Yeah. So I got to visualize this. Yes. And and again, being a small business or small, at the time we weren't in a business, yeah. to have the idea of saying, okay, I don't have the funds to go out and have professionally done. So I was like, I got to at least come up so I can at least start going. Then I can go to a CAD person and say, this is what I want. Yeah. And we took this and only about four or five design changes and moving up to a foam board and then finally the steel, we ended up with our end product ah. and pretty much it's been that way ever since. I'm in the vendor area and I just ran into Eric from Techno RV. So Eric, how have you been? Doing good. Hey Zephyr's Travels, how are y'all doing? Hanging out with Randy here at the Techno RV booth and uh, always good to see you. I think it's been a couple of years since it, I got to hang it, out. It has, you. has, yeah. We've had to miss a few shows but we're back and uh, enjoying <laughs> I it. I haven't missed any shows. <laughs> yeah, 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 you've been busy. You've been busy. And you've got a lot of new products out too. Yeah, so uh, at the Tampa RV show, I mean we're displaying five of kind of our core products like we usually tell like new RVers or people that are just getting into it like there's these core three products that we feel like everybody needs and it's mm -hmm. all based around safety so that's uh, an electrical protection system yep. and we yep. sell the surge guard stuff and you got to protect that that's what we uh, got tire pressure monitoring we use the TST stuff yep. you got to protect your tires and make sure that you're aware of what's going on and then also the uh, you got to protect your propane system so we have the gas stop automatic shut off propane right. devices here. Right, right. And I think you have all that stuff. I have all that stuff. You're <laughs> absolutely right. I do. I do. And, yep. then, and then I would say, uh, you know, some of the, I guess I would call them honorable mentions, is uh, to, to make things a little bit more convenient uh, in your travels. As you know, we do have the level mate auto leveling uh, uh, app, app system. That's on my wish list. Is it? All right. Yes, all right. Yes. Well, yes. We got to make sure that happens. <laughs> and then uh, we do use the uh, Garmin RV GPSs to help navigate us and keep us in safe areas for our RV. And uh, you know the motorhome that we're in, 13 feet tall, yep. 40 feet, and 45,000 pounds. So that, that's not designed for everywhere. <laughs> right. It, that's a, that's a really good device. And a friend of ours um, ha, uh, bought one after um, following her GPS and it took her down this country road with a tunnel with about an eight foot clearance. And she had to back her trailer up by herself about a quarter mile. That's not fun. Yeah, that, so that was that was right when I started RV and it was one of my biggest fears. Yeah. Like coming down around the corner and being like, there's a problem. And yep. so with the Garmin, I mean it's 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 really been amazing because you just put all your information in it, you just navigate and it's always gonna make sure you're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds like a good product. Yeah. Yeah, and we've got uh so you know, just to let y'all know, like if you're at the Tampa RV show, come by. We got some good show specials, and we've got a lot more products, like just at TechnoRV.com. So anybody yeah. can go there and order. And uh, we've got fast shipping, and we've got awesome customer service, kind of what we're known yes. for. We got a whole crew of people that are highly knowledgeable in all this stuff, and because uh, we just want to make sure people are taken care of. Yep. 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 All right. Great. So check these guys out while you're at the show.
slice of the bait, right? Uh-oh, it became too big. Smith said, what about a larger one? Then they designed this one. He now going to have the same blade, but twice as large. And sharp on either side. I don't cook, I don't peel. Sounds just like my ex-wife. She did what? Well, made reservations a lot. See so with know, this one, cuts up and down. Now, if you want to make your own potato chips, right? Put them in some ice cold water. It takes about 20 minutes, and you'll cool up and get more. You take all the starch out of them that way. You can put them in the air fryer too and bake them. How about pickles? You like cucumber salad? My aunt Minnie, I visit every year. I go to her house, she pickles all the time. I mean, she pickles all the time. She say, buy the price, the thinner the slice. Thinner than that, huh? You have to have only one side. But if you just bought it for this one, tell me, do you like old school? Cut your cabbage through the heart, take the dead leaves off. Don't like the company? Take the dead leaves off. Look, you can now make yourself just give up. Cold slaw, hot slaw, sauerkraut, kapusta, real oil. I don't care if you're on a gold handle knife. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, hey, yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? You know where you find this? Have you ever had fish tacos? That's exactly what they use. They do not use lips. Mom used to do it like everyone, you know? This is called three-day coleslaw. Three days to chew it before you can swallow it. Oh, I got one more. I almost forgot this one. Have you ever eaten at that expensive restaurant right here in Florida? It's called Chick-fil-A. You've been to that one, have you? Oh, when you go there, they don't serve french fries, do they? What do they call these things to drink? Waffle fries. If you're on a seafood diet, see the holes? Just eat the holes. There's no calories in those. So you know what I just did? Look, up and down, that makes the ripple cut. Now, how do I make the waffle? Right? Don't be confused. Up to the top, stop. One quarter of the turn, slice it. No turning, no holy. All in presentation. A relish tray, a cheese platter, top of the salad. Not made to cut you. Not like a mandolin. I had to buy it after that video or after his demonstration. Yeah. You know, it's like he went to all that trouble. It was really a, a fun demonstration. So you just have to buy it. They look good. Yeah. It's been a long day. Actually, it's been a long three days. Yes. A lot of walking. But I think we're coming to the end of the RV show for us. It still goes on for another couple of days, but we are getting worn out. And we want to do some other things while we're here in Tampa. So we are going to call it here for this video. No, let, before we end this, let's kind of share our thoughts on the show. Oh, it's a great show. I mean, it's absolutely huge. And yeah, they have all manufacturers here probably all models if you're interested in a particular manufacturer there is a lot to look at yeah um, plenty of salespeople here and uh, yeah and we looked at airstreams we looked at solitudes we looked at what which are grand designs grand designs yes i'm sorry grand design we did looked at some tiffin we looked at some other brands that i my brain doesn't even register anymore <laughs> Right. Uh, and we, we barely scratch the surface of what you can see here. If you come, um, I would, two suggestions I think I would make for people, and, and we're talking for 2024 now because by the time you see this, this show will be over. But two suggestions I would give you, um, make a plan of what you want to see. Mm -hmm. And when you buy your ticket, your ticket's good for two days. So plan to come two days. Take advantage of that. Come one day. Look at the stuff you want to see. Spend some time with it. The um, if there's something you really want to look at in detail, wait to the end of the day because after four o'clock the place starts to empty out, and you can spend a little more time walking through the the RVs that you really are interested in. Right, right. There are also plenty of vendors to visit, and some are selling a product. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, campgrounds and other resorts, yep. uh, travel services such as Passport America or Scapies, yep. a lot of different food vendors. Exactly, yeah. And, uh, yeah. The food's a little pricey, but you know, you want to take that into account being here. They got you. You know, if you're going to either pay their price or leave the fairground and come back. Um, but. 
for the most part, you know, treat it as an experience. You know, have fun. You know, when you walk through the vendors, especially these, some of these vendors are like the ones you're going to see at a state fair. They've got the handy dandy gadget like you, we showed you in, in one of our segments, where they you cut and peel and make you know waffle fries and all that right, stuff. Right. You know, stop and watch those guys. They work really hard at what they do, and they're really good. And are, most of the time, they're very humorous. So stop and yes. check that out. Yes. It's worth seeing. <laughs> They are, but uh, yeah, and they, I mean, here you have plenty of room to really walk. During the day, the past couple of days has been pretty crowded, but like Randy said, if you're looking for a particular product or RV or whatever, wait more until the later afternoon to right. come to a show like this. The other thing to mention is that, you know, the RV show is pet friendly. You can bring your dog here. I would think about it. Um, you know your dog first, first part, whether they'd be comfortable here or not. We did not bring Monty and Zephyr. The other aspect of bringing your dogs here, it may limit you to what you're going to be able to spend some time walking into. You know, somebody may not be able to go in to the RV with you because you were going to have to stay out with the dog, unless you happen to have a small dog that you could pick up and carry. And it gets pretty warm here during the day. Today it got up into the 80s, and it, I was seeing, looking at some dogs and it felt very bad for them because they're walking on the hot pavement, you know, and it's a hot day and humid. You know, I'm sure those dogs were not comfortable. Yes, but the dogs are allowed in the buildings with their owners, so yeah. you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, so it's something you can do if it's, you know, maybe better than leaving your dog in, you know, in your RV or, or if you not even have an RV, you know, you, you can't leave in your RV, you definitely don't want to leave them in your car. So bring them then in that case, but I would think about it if you don't have to bring them, don't. Right. Anything else? No, I don't Any other so. words of wisdom? Wear comfortable shoes, dress for the temperature, being in Florida, it is a little bit humid. You may want to wear a hat, which I didn't wear. All right, I think we're going to end it here. Yep. So guys, if you like this video, what should they do, Diane? Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis. And we just love to have you guys come along. And if you were at the uh, Florida Super RV Show, Put a comment out there and let us know. And if you saw us, awesome, let us know that too. Until the next time, everybody, we will see you down the road. Bye. Let's not waste time. We'll take this slow. We've got miles behind us and miles to go. So let's just break this down.